Let's talk about some special triangles and the unit circle. Here's the unit circle defined by this equation, x squared plus y squared equals 1. That's the equation of a circle with radius 1 centered at the origin, hence the unit circle for radius 1. This lets us reduce those equations of our trig functions to easy values. Remember that cosine of theta is x over r, but here r is 1, so we reduce to just x. Sine is y over r, again r is 1, this reduces to just y, tangent is still y over x. This is really nice for computing trig values. Take a look at these two special triangles whose values will show up on the unit circle. We have a so-called 45-45-90 triangle and a 30-60-90 triangle. They're called that because of their measures of degrees, but if we're talking about radians, 45 degrees is pi over 4 radians, 30 degrees is pi over 6, and pi over 3 is at 60 degrees. And these are a very good set of triangles to memorize. Take a look at this 45-45, or we should really say pi over 4, pi over 4, 90 triangle. It has legs root 2 over 2 in relationship to a hypotenuse of 1 whereas the pi over 6, pi over 3 triangle has legs relationship to root 3 over 2, 1 half, and 1. Let's use these triangles to compute some trig values. Now if we overlay these triangles multiple times in different quadrants on the unit circle, we get these values. We're seeing those 1 halves, root 2s over 2s, and root 3s over 2s appear in many different places. You'll notice that all of these angle measures are either 30, 60, or 45 degree multiples. So we can combine this with the knowledge that cosine theta are the x values, sine theta are the y values. For instance, on the unit circle here, we could do sine of pi over 6. We look at the pi over 6 in radians, sine are the y values, we just get 1 half. We also have this rule called the all students take calculus rule or you can read it a different way as cast, this tells us whether our trig values should be positive or negative based on which quadrant we're in. The cast rule or the all students take calculus rule tells us this. Cosine is positive in the first and fourth quadrants. All the trig values are positive in the first quadrant. Sine is positive in the first and second quadrant. Tangent is positive in the first and third quadrant. I would recommend remembering this rule, setting it up like this, cast reading counterclockwise, or all students take calculus reading counterclockwise. Let's quickly evaluate this trig function, sine of 3 pi over 4. 3 pi over 4, if you take a look on our unit circle, that will end up in the second quadrant. 3 pi over 4 is over here, so in the second quadrant, sine is positive. We know our answer should be positive, and if you were to look at this angle, 3 pi over 4 on the unit circle, we would find the y coordinate to be square root 2 over 2. And that's all we have to do. We'll just pick that value out from the unit circle.